The gastrointestinal tract, or GI tract, is basically a muscular tube that travels through the body from the mouth to the anus, uh, carrying food, which we process in this tract, extract the nutrients into our blood, and then eliminate the substances that we can't use. So if you take a look at the GI tract from the esophagus through the large intestine, it basically has the same composition. The hollow inside where the food and secretions occupy, that hollow space is called the lumen. And then the wall of the GI tract has four parts. The mucosa is the innermost portion. That's the region that would be uh, touching the lumen. Deep to that is a region called the submucosa. Deep to that is a muscular layer called the muscularis externa. And then the outer periphery of the GI tract is encased by a sheet of connective tissue. So let's take a look at each of these layers one by one. The innermost layer of the GI tract called the mucosa has three parts. The epithelial tissue is the innermost layer. That would be the type of tissue that is directly contacting the contents or the food inside of the GI tract. The type of epithelium present depends on where you're looking at. Stratified squamous is found at the start and at the end of the GI tract, and then simple columnar is found in the middle. Deep to the epithelial tissue is a region called the lamina propria. That's the bed of loose connective tissue on which the epithelium is lying. And then there's a thin ring of smooth muscle that's called the muscularis mucosi. The next region, the submucosa, is a thicker area of loose connective tissue. This is where the blood supply is distributed through the GI tract, also the nerve supply and the lymphatics. Uh, it also contains glands. Here we can see some mucus glands. Deep to that is the layer of muscle. This is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is found from the lower two-thirds of the esophagus through the um, internal anal sphincter. There's at least two layers of smooth muscle. The inner layer is a circular coat. You can see that the cells are encircling the lumen, encircling the hollow tube. The outer layer is called the longitudinal coat because the orientation of the muscle cells is running along the longitudinal axis of the tube. And then the outermost portion is known as the serosa. The serosa is the visceral peritoneum, the visceral peritoneum being a serous membrane and therefore it's called serosa. It's called serosa inside of the abdominal and pelvic cavity. Outside of that, for instance, surrounding the esophagus or surrounding the distal rectum, it's known as the adventitia.